In this video, we're going to be using Colonel Conk Lime and the Toy Razor, once again rehoned. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me again today. I really appreciate it. And if you're brand new, I hope you'll consider subscribing below. So, before we get into the video today, I just want to remind you that Clown Fruit is now available. Congrats to my buddy, uh, Junior. Uh, there, the dude of shaving for making this happen again, making it come back as clown fruit. He is the true clown fruit king. We were, of course, jo joking around uh, earlier this week, but it was all done in fun. And I'm so happy uh, that he got this brought back with the original label. So, Junior, thank you very much. And, of course, PAA. So, there'll be some links below if you're interested. Now, on to the shave today. We're going to be using Colonel Conk. This is lime, and as you can see... Up there, it says zesty, clean scent. Very, very simple. Um, just smells like lime. It's nice scent to me. I like it. It's lightly scented, probably about three. This comes to you if you order from Colonel Kong for $3.90 for $2. Excuse me, $3.90 for 2.25 ounces. Or that is, on our cost chart, it's a cost chart busting 173 per ounce. Exceptional price. Really awesome. Simple soap. It is glycerin based. Uh, the, the ingredients are not on here nor on the website. So maybe the good folks at Colonel Conk will put the ingredients there. Um, here's an older one that I have and I do notice a difference on the old one. It just says Colonel Conk. And on the new ones it says Colonel Ichabod Conk. So I don't know if they're retooling their labels or branding a little bit, but this is one I bought a long time ago. The good folks at Colonel Conk did send me this one and a couple of other ones to try so we'll use it today again simple but i think we'll get a great shave out of this because these soaps work just fine very affordable and you know me i really like doing these sort of budget shaves the razor the tory that i rehoned yesterday because i i used it and uh, i don't know if i dulled the edge a little bit when i was polishing it or maybe i just don't like uh, the edge right off of 12k but i rehoned it finished it uh with the Izuku, and by the way, we're at 24 hours growth today. Maybe slightly more growth because I didn't get a super close shave yesterday, but we'll get to work on that, and hopefully I did a good job honing. So what I'm gonna do is take this soap out and just sort of use it as a, just sort of load some up on the face to begin with. Again, this is a glycerin-based soap, so it's not gonna have all the butters and exotic ingredients that you'll find in some of the artisanal offerings but I think it's gonna provide what we need. And I cut a little piece off of this and uh, put it in, in my bowl. So let's wet the face. To me, it smells good. Just a, a straight lime scent, not too overpowering. Um, and honestly, the lather in the bowl, it looks pretty good. It's got a decent sheen to it. So, you know, it's got a surprisingly nice lather. And so folks who say, you know, these, soaps don't produce a decent lather, um, well, I would disagree based on my experience here. I mean, it is simple, but sometimes simple gets the job done. I think we've all grown enamored of all the crazy ingredients and in soaps in the artisanal offerings, the super blue emu, the dragon tallow, the unicorn milk, the chupacabra oil, and all these mystical ingredients. But honestly, I believe that this soap We'll get it done. And there is a good sheen on that lather. So even though it's glycerin based, it doesn't mean it won't work. It does not mean that at all. So let's dry our hands off. Let's cut that down just a little bit. And we shall hope we did a good job honing the razor today. So that's what we're gonna shoot for anyway. So let us begin and see how we did. And it's always exciting to, uh, to try your edge for the first time. Pretty good, not bad, I would say. Again, we're trying to remember to keep this a little more shallow to my face, the angle, because I do have a tendency to open it up. And Maddie was kind enough to coach me up on that. And like I've been saying in my last few videos, folks, don't keep your own counsel, you know, be, be willing and open, uh, be willing to hear the counsel 
of others and open to the possibility that you can get value from it. That's what I attempt to do. Now, of course, I'm hard-headed on some things, but... I try to remain teachable and open to new possibilities. And I will say definitely this is a better edge than it was before. Um, it is not the best edge that I've ever put on a razor, but it's certainly better than before. I think I'll probably work on this one a little bit more, but it's not bad by any stretch. And we're, we did achieve a little greater sharpness, which is really what I was looking for. And so I'm definitely appreciating this just a little bit more. And we thank Ray Pope for sending this razor. It's a nice old razor made here in the United States, Tory. And he probably got it in a antique shop or something like that and cleaned it up. And then I cleaned it up even further. And uh, tuned it up a little more on the honing. It's very nice. Very, very nice. All right. That was, that was really good. First pass down. Really, really nice. The Colonel Conk did its job. Uh, the scent on it will, it's kind of like a, I would call it almost like an industrial lime sort of. It's not, it doesn't smell the same, of, same as Arco. But it's got that, you know, just, I would call it sort of an artificial lime scent, which doesn't bother me at all because I like clean scents. Uh, and it does smell clean and, you know, it's going to have slickness. It's glycerin. And so, you know, it's going to bring slickness to the party, which is primarily what I'm looking for. Uh, perhaps it may not have all the skin food that, you know, some people are interested in, but you can... Uh, you can sort of work that in in a bomb or use one of your, you know, ma um, various magical elixirs that you may have in your kit if you, if you have those things. But this soap is just a get it done soap and an easy on your wallet soap, which I appreciate. Look, folks, when I'm using this these budget products, I don't pretend to like them. I like them. <laughs> and I own and keep a lot of them and I use them. And usually the, the, the funny part about it is I enjoy it because it sort of grounds me each time I use one. I was like, you know what? This stuff works great, you know, and, I, and I'm happy about that. Because to be honest with you, I would rather pay less, <laughs> you know, but all the offerings out there, you know, this channel is about shaving and advocating for the hobby and trying many, many different things. And most of the things these days aren't in the budget realm. So it's harder and harder to find budget offerings, although not certainly not impossible. But, you know, prices have generally increased over the years I've, I've done this and fairly significantly. And so when I'm able to use a budget product and achieve an outstanding result, I'm happy about that. <laughs> like, I was really looking forward to this shave because it's like, man, let's let's use the old Colonel Conk, you know, very inexpensive. Um, but gets the job done. Plenty of slickness here, no problems. And that's what I'm looking for. I want the razor to be able to glide on the face. Like I said, skin food can be addressed later. Now, Colonel Conk does have some different soaps because the almond one that I have that I showed you has some other stuff in it. It has some, I can't remember, might have shea butter or something in it. Let me see what it says. Uh, this one contains avocado oil and vitamin E. So they're not all the same necessarily. So maybe you try those, but I got a good lather out of that one too, the last time I used it, which has been, let's say a few months ago. Um, the Colonel Kong folks have been supporting a lot of us on Instagram. 
and coming to our live shows like our real talk show, uh, which is every other week. Uh, no show this week. Next week is the week that that airs again. But anyway, they've been supporting many of us. So thank you very much, Colonel Conk, for showing up and taking part in the community. Not everybody do does that. Excuse me, does that. <laughs> Not everybody does that, and I truly appreciate the folks who do. So thank you, Colonel Conk. And the other artisans who show up and, you know, just try to take part in the fun. Let's get it over that jawline there. Yeah, the edge here is uh, definitely better. And like I said, I may have dulled that a little bit. One of the things that's uh, difficult for me as I'm uh, trying to be more narrow, sometimes I'm so narrow that the blade is kind of touching my face. And so I'm trying to go narrow without too narrow because you know you have to, the blade has to be able to cut. So I'm trying to keep it narrow without getting too narrow. And that just, that happens over time, you know, learning what that angle is. But so far, we're doing well, two passes, very, very nice. The Colonel Conk is doing its job. So far, I'm doing my job, and hopefully I'll continue to do a decent job at that. More than not, folks, it is you and not your equipment. Now you do, you know, I think if you have decent equipment, which everything here today is, including the brush, which is very inexpensive. Um, I've seen that for as low as 10 bucks, you know? So if you have equipment that's capable of doing the job, if you do your job, you'll get a decent shave a lot of the time. I want to mention one thing about the, uh, the clown fruit thing. That was always a joke. We were having fun with each other, myself and Junior. But some people thought that it was serious and it was not. And I even said in the video, the one where I said the king has returned, I even said in that video, later in the video, that it wasn't serious. <laughs> and so don't think the worst folks. And if you have a question, just simply ask rather than assuming the worst. That was uh, in jest, it was sarcastic. Some people got it, few people did not. If you're in doubt and you really think um, something is serious that way, or I have, you know, bad intent, which I think you should know me better. You know, if you've been watching the videos, you should know, know me well enough to know that's not the type of <laughs> person I am, but just ask and I'll be happy to, to, uh, to tell you, or better yet, watch the entire video where I said, this is a joke. <laughs> it's in the video, literally. So Sometimes, folks, we, we have fun. There's a little sarcasm, you know. We try to be flippant. Everything is not dead serious all the time. And it's just, just be aware. There might be some sarcasm. <laughs> and there might be some satire. So, if you don't know, or if you think I'm really attacking someone, don't just assume it. Maybe clarify and ask, and I'll be happy to tell you. All right, but anyway, congrats to Junior, as I said before. Let's finish up the final pass here with our Colonel Conk, which has done a good job here today. Not bad at all. I think I can squeak out a little more sharpness on this edge, but it's doing fine. It's cutting much, much better than yesterday. So I'm much happier with it. So this will be a razor that I really keep and enjoy and refine to my liking. Thank you, Ray, again. Really appreciate that. Very nice. I don't think this grind is quite as hollow. Um, Cause you know, you're not hearing a lot. So it's more, I don't know, let's look at it. Yeah, it's 
I mean, there's maybe partially hollow, but not much. It's kind of hard to see. Start out here and just scoop that out a little bit and then we'll bring it a little closer in. Very nice. And I hope everyone is having a, a great day and great shaves. By the way, uh, Flash Boredom did a video <laughs> yesterday or the day before. It's very funny. I love, he doesn't do videos very often, but when he does, I love watching him because he's got a great sense of humor. And he's, uh, they're quite fun because they're different. Cheeky, as some would call it in the UK. But I really appreciate his sense of humor. And uh, I like watching his videos when he makes them. He just doesn't, I wish he made more because they're usually quite funny, <laughs> you know. And he was uh, doing an unboxing. I, I thought it was really funny. So, as always, I will link his channel below. If you look down in the comments, I try to put links to products there. I try to put links to the other channels I mention. Sometimes I forget some of them, but for the most part, I try to put everything I'm talking about down below. So check out those links. There'll be helpful links there for you. Let me wipe this off and then we will rinse and come back for the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back with the Magic Made by Witches. This is Thayer's Cucumber in a spray bottle. And we love to use that every single day. And off cam, I use the PAA alum with dry dock still holding up very well i used the lancaster towel as well I'm not showing that as much because there hasn't been a drop and i try not to show too many products that you can't get unless it's something old um there hasn't been a drop for a long time so i'll mention it again when when you might be able to get one so today colonel conk lime great shave with it it got the job done it is very inexpensive dollar seven three an ounce. It doesn't have all the crazy buttery ingredients and skin foods, but it will get the job done. And I enjoyed this shade very, very much. We use the Tori from uh, Ray Pope. I will work this blade a little bit more. It was better, but not where I want it yet. We'll go back and work on that some more and really enjoy that process. We use the Razor Rock Big Bruce, which is a very inexpensive brush. And we'll finish off with an old school relatively inexpensive aftershave. This is Panod Lime Sec, and I want to thank everyone for joining us today. I really appreciate it. As always, I hope you're doing well. Hope your shaves are great. I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.